Hi, my name is Lisa Bauer, and you are watching Dirty Dog Live Music. Today we're here with Vince Gorski, uh, one of my favorite drummers in the whole area. Um, Vince, say hello. Hi. <laughs> um, the first time I ever saw you was playing at the Fairway 12, I think, and I, I'm not sure if you were doing a benefit that night or, or what it was, but the first time I saw you, I was absolutely mesmerized by your talent, and that's very Thank rare you. for me. I'm, I'm not one to generally notice drummers right off the bat, but I just could not take my eyes off of you that night and, and your performance um, and the way you were playing. So I, I'm very pleased to have you here on this show. Um, can you. you tell me a little bit about you? Well, I've been playing drums for about 16 years. Uh, that night at the Fairway 12, it was, uh, it was a benefit cool. show okay. uh, with Dirty Dog Live, and uh, I was playing with a local band, Jack the Dog. Jack the Dog, that's right. That night. But uh, yeah, shortly thereafter, I uh, started pursuing bigger things and uh, took a move to New York City. I was playing with some bigger groups out there, doing a lot more recording, a lot more session work, and, uh, just trying to expand myself as a, as a musician, trying to pursue it more as a career. Your style of drumming is so much different from what I see from other people. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, how you learned to play the way you do and with, with such enthusiasm that you do? I mean, uh, you'll see later, but Vince twirls sticks and he, he can toss them and catch them. And, uh, his, I can drop them. And yeah, right, <laughs> <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> but, uh, but you're a, a performer as well as a drummer. So um, who were your influences and how did you get started? And, well, I started out listening a lot to uh, uh, Chad Smith, drawn from Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was in him a lot. Uh, Godsmack, mm -hmm. uh, Saul Yerna and Shannon Larkin. I always liked their style a lot because Shannon was always a real active drummer, flailing his arms around. And mm -hmm. I just I liked the energy. I didn't really care for the backseat drummer position. As a drummer, I, I, I never want to be buried. Uh, some of the YouTube videos and things that I've seen of you, uh, mm -hmm. boy, your eyes just go right to you. So. Oh, well, thank you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, uh, as a child, you know, when did you uh, begin drumming? Did you just start banging on things around the house, or did you ask your parents for a good set of guitar or drums, or how did that work? Well, in, I was in fourth grade in a little elementary school. And, uh, I came from a small town, Finley Lake, and uh, in fourth grade, our, we had a music teacher come into our classroom, and he gave us a demonstration of uh, several different instruments. And I was intrigued by the trumpet at first. Oh, I love the trumpet. I loved the trumpet. Yeah. All my friends were playing trumpet, and I wanted to play trumpet, but I took, the, uh, took my permission slip home, wanted to get it signed, get a trumpet rental, and my parents didn't want to pay for it. My, oh. dad, my dad was a drummer growing up, and he had a drum set already, so he says, All right, you're going to try this first. If you don't like it, then we'll consider trumpet. Do you play trumpet now or no? I don't play trumpet. Okay. I did later on take well, up tuba. Well, so, you're so good but, on drums, you don't need to play the trumpet. But, but, uh, but yeah, I, I did dig out my dad's drum kit, and I started, uh, started diddling with it. And uh, it just it grew on me. And I think part of the reason also was I was the only kid who was doing drums mm -hmm. in the school. And coming from a small town, it was an easy way to kind of stand out and do my own thing. Mm. And uh, I just kind of progressed from there. Do you remember your first gigs when you actually went out and started getting paid to, to play with bands? And uh, my first gigs, I wasn't getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> first gigs, we were playing for food. and. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, but yeah, I started when I was uh, 14 years old. We started playing parties and uh, doing little shig dings for uh, family and friends and graduation parties, stuff for high schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, pretty much just a party band. But then I wanted to venture out, and coming from Finley Lake, just a small town, uh, started looking up flyers and seeing wanted ads. Everyone was looking for drummers, and mm -hmm. so I got a hold of some guys from Erie, and uh, I played with a group while I was still in high school. I just turned 16, just got my driver's license. I started playing with a group called Meat Plow, who, uh, a little wild name, but... Yeah, it is. <laughs> but yeah, that was my first taste of the Erie scene, and I got to go around and play a lot of good shows with those guys, and... Do you have a particular genre of music that you, you like to play? I've always been partial to hard rock. Mm. I think I read one time that you really liked Motown, too. I do. I'm, I'm big into Motown. Mm -hmm. not, not for the drumming influence, but I just... The, the music I itself. love the music. Um, I 
really like Michael Jackson and mm -hmm. The Temptations. Yeah, and, yeah, stuff I listen to, stuff I grew up listening to. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I love Motown, the whole Motown thing. I think a lot of that was also the performances that they put on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, watching David Ruffin with The Temptations was, mm -hmm. you know, it was always great performances and Michael Jackson, you know, alone at the top. Mm -hmm. He was very inspiring to me as a performer. Mm -hmm. So um, the last I heard, you were playing with a band called Bulletproof, Bulletproof Messenger. I know it's hard I, for me to say, but <laughs> Bulletproof Messenger. I was playing with Bulletproof Messenger. I kind of played out my term with them. But uh, like I said earlier, I went to New York City and, uh, you know, knocking on doors, and I found these guys, and uh, uh, they just they had a lot of great opportunities coming up. And mm -hmm. I went ahead. I went through two auditions. One was just with a couple members at first in a tiny little studio apartment. and. Mm -hmm. Later on, they took me down to their studio in Long Island, and uh, we had a full-blown rehearsal, uh, big stage production, and it was just great. And I was and, and really getting pumped. What, what was the largest audience you think you, you saw while you were with them? Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know how many we had, but it was anywhere from six to 10,000, I'd say, would be the largest. That's pretty exciting. It is exciting. We were doing that night after night, playing with bands like uh, Incubus, Trapped, Collective Soul, uh, uh. Goo Goo Dolls, mm -hmm. uh, Cold, Nonpoint. And it was great because you got to meet these bands. And like I said, when I grew up in a small town, I never got to see a lot of drummers. I mean, I didn't grow up with a lot of drummers. I was the only one in the school, and uh, my band teachers weren't drummers. So everything I learned I had to do from videos or just messing around, listening to the radio. Mm -hmm. So it was great that I actually got, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with a lot of these, you know, big names, people who've been out there and been doing it. And I did get to learn a lot from that. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we're doing uh, Dirty Dog Live Music is to uh, give some of the local talent some exposure and stuff like that so that uh, um, there's so much talent in our area and people don't always get to see that. So. You know, I'm really glad today we're going to have a drum solo by you, and yeah. I'm really excited to see that because it's been a while since I've heard you play. And, it has uh, been a while. Yes, and um, um, I'm curious to see when I think somebody's really, really good and then to see that they've actually gotten better, you know, that's going to be fun for me to watch. So um, we're going to take off and go watch you play a song. Great. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs>
Hi, we're back and we're here with Rob Vance, who also plays with Vince Gorski. And uh, we're going to get to know Rob. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I mean, we don't need to start way back when I was born. No, 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 no. Um, Where are you from? And uh, I'm from uh, uh, Western New York and um, got into music at a as a young kid, because I had older brothers and sisters, so I always listened to things like the Beatles oh, and yeah, that, and yeah. you know, the 60s and 70s is the music that I kind of grew up on, and and, uh, and then things really changed a lot in the 80s, mm -hmm. of course, you know, with the techno pop and all that, and played in a lot of different bands well, you're a guitarist. all those years. Yeah, I'm a guitarist and, uh, and a bassist, and uh, and uh, doing some songwriting, you know, mm. these, these last couple years. Uh, Decided to start getting into that end of things, and uh, when did you get your first guitar? Uh, wow, that is going Do you back. Yeah. Uh, kind of, we've always had them around the house because we always we had five kids in the house, and they always figured someone would probably pick it up, and mm. I guess that just happened to be me. So, but um, yeah, like I said, I just uh, played in a lot of different bands over the years. Started in the '70s. I was probably 17 years old when I played my first gig. Do you and remember that? Do yeah. you remember your first gig? Yeah, yeah. But I was playing bass and I was a lot shorter then, so I'm dragging <laughs> this bass and it's almost <laughs> as big as me, you know, and mm -hmm. going to play these uh, these local bars and stuff. And the, the were you we playing bands. with a lot of guys who were older than you? A lot older, yeah. These guys, of course, were older and had bands, but, you mm -hmm. know, I could play bass and we were from a small town area and there weren't a lot of bass players around, so... Uh, I kind of got the gig that way a lot of times, just being the bass player, and mm -hmm. then uh, eventually moved on to do some guitar and stuff. And hopefully, I wanted to like play more instruments, but you know, it's hard to find time to master everything. You mm -hmm. know, I, I actually started on drums in high school, and then started to pick up the guitar, and then realized there was a big demand for bass players. So I ended up being a bass player for quite a long time, almost mm -hmm. 30 years. What are you going to play tonight? Uh, tonight I was going to do a couple of originals, a couple of songs, uh, some of my first stuff that I wrote. I am working uh, uh, currently on a CD. I have about three more songs I want to record. And, That's very uh, exciting. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a uh, first time for me. And, uh, you know, whether it does anything or not, I'm, I'm kind of doing it for fun, but it would be nice, you know, to maybe shop it around a little bit. And you never ah, know. So it's kind of like playing the lottery, you know. It's like... Okay. You got to play to win, mm -hmm, you know. Right. But if it, you know you don't win, you don't get that upset. You just go play some more, you mm -hmm. know. So do you just, play predominantly in the Erie? And Northeast pretty much area? the Erie area, yeah. Like I say, Vince and I, who was mm -hmm. just on, yeah, we we have a band that we play in, and uh, you know we play around there, you know, like kind of tri-state area, I would say, you know, being where we're at in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. you know, up around Erie, we play out towards Buffalo, Jamestown, down towards Warren, you know, maybe down towards uh, Pittsburgh, maybe out into the, over the Ohio line and that, so we, we get around a little bit. Some and, people don't know, but Erie has a huge music scene, and it's very well supported the, the, by the city, and... They really do, in many different genres, I mean, Erie's, you know, a medium-sized city, but if you look in their entertainment guide, so you know, the, you can see there's probably 30 shows going on on a Saturday night, which is quite a bit for a, a little town. You know, it's I was I'm not sure what their population is, but they're around 200,000 or something like that, maybe in Erie. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, uh, um, this is very exciting. I'm I'm very anxious to hear you play. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the song writing for you? How does that occur for you? Um, I don't know. I just kind of like to write about you know, good times and, you know, try to pick out some of the better aspects in life, you know, try to stay away from the gloom and doom and, mm -hmm. you know, like to live a little, you know, party a little. And You're doing sort of country rock Country tonight. kind of rock, yeah, those are kind of my influences. Um, uh, my first gigs that I was playing bass when I sat back when I was just a teenager were country gigs. I was weaned on country music and and then, of course, grew up with the, you know the Leonard Skinner and the Southern so, Rock, and yes. you know the. I'm a big Skinner fan. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that was, uh, you know, everybody that we were growing up with and hanging out with, and my musician friends. You know, they're with me tonight. We all kind of grew up together and played together for a lot of years. And mm -hmm. do you want to talk about who's with you tonight? Who, um, who did you bring? Yeah, I brought um, Vince, of course. Vince, of course. Yeah, Vince Gorski. Of course, he's younger than the rest of us, but he's mm -hmm. a great upcoming drummer. I mean, he's you know, it's really a, a good time to be on a stage with him. He, yes. he puts on a good show. He does. You know, and, and is uh, all on his own and does an amazing drum solo, which you know you all mm -hmm. got to see there and everything. Yes. But. Uh, yeah, and then we have uh, my friend Ken Walters, who was uh, 
probably one of the guys who got me interested in playing guitar. He was a few years older than me. He would be uh, playing the banjo tonight. And uh, let's see, we had Tony Flaminio. Um, we've been in a band together for almost 20 years, probably. Uh, Harry Hool, another guy that uh, I grew up with, um, all from the Western New York area. And uh, that's well, pretty much fantastic. it. That sounds fantastic. We're really yeah. anxious to hear. Yeah. Okay, yeah, great. It's small town stuff, that's for sure. So, great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That was an excellent song, Country Fast Lane. I really enjoyed that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's like, like I said, I like to just sing about, you know, good times and, you know, yeah, it's living really... life, you know, in a fun way, but, you know, not going over the top or anything, right. you know. And, and uh, so that's kind of where I, you know, I come from, being a country kid, mm -hmm. grew up in a town with one red light, you know, and trying really not to, uh, not just trying to play, Stuff that I kind of 
suits me, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, like I said, I was a Leonard Skinner fan, country fan, kind of blend the two together, get a little country rock with some blues thrown in. And mm -hmm. you know, those are kind of my inspirations. They're not too, uh, you know, technical or anything, but. If people are interested in finding you, how would they find you? Uh, I have a, a website. It's uh, robertvance.com. And uh, of course, I'm also on uh, MySpace, which would be uh, myspace.com forward slash Rob Vance Music. And then, um, of course, I'm on Facebook too. Everybody's on Facebook Everybody's these on days. Facebook, That's yes. a good way to, uh, I like to just like advertise my shows where we're playing and that and let people know where we're at. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's, like a, it's a nice tool. Those, you know, the, the age of the internet now is definitely helping the musician stretch out you That's know, to right. new and areas a little more. And, and it's you know, important so to utilize all the tools it, that are It's available. a good thing, yeah. And uh, so, but uh, yeah, I have uh, another song that I'm gonna do, and it's kind of in the same vein, just country rock kind of stuff, just songs about, you know, coming from a small town and, you know, maybe partying it up a little bit. And like I say, we just like to live and have a good time and, you know, not get too out of control, but, you know, like I said, try to stay away from the gloom and doom, you know, mm -hmm. stuff. It yeah. Is, uh, Fantastic. I'm really anxious to hear your next song. Well, well, great. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, now that was a really good song. I really enjoyed that song. That song has got such a beat, and I can just hear that playing on the radio. Oh, nice. So, yeah, good luck with I that song. I hope other people I, think that, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad sure you enjoyed it. Yeah, you know, it's that's, it's that's, a fun one. That's part of this whole experience is to bring music that people have not heard and some of the talent in our area to them so that they can hear what's going on out there. That song is hot, and I think people should hear that. So. Nice. Well, great. The name I, that I, was? I hope they wrote, that was uh, Might Be Bad. Might Be Bad, and we'll have to look for that, definitely. I want to thank you for being here today, and I want to thank Vince as well, um, Vince Gorski, um, for being here and doing that wonderful solo he did and mm -hmm. for you sharing your two songs with us. Um, yeah. I'm and sure I do have more songs on my website, on MySpace. If you went to the MySpace site, there is more songs on there that I've done, stuff I'm currently working on. And, and you're getting ready to put yeah, together the and, album. Uh, so. Yeah, the CD should be coming out hopefully 
first part of next year. Do you have sometime. a name for it yet? I don't yet. Okay. I'm working on some stuff. Yeah, we still got to get all the you know the usual stuff together, the artwork and everything. But uh, we're we're getting close. I have seven songs completed, and wow. I need to get like three more. Put? I'm going to put ten, ten on a CD. Yeah, that's a good round number, I think. And, okay. And, well, um, we'll be looking for it. Yeah. We'll Great. be looking for your name and and uh, keep in touch. I will. Rob Vance. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.